Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Corner Home Reviews, back again for another episode. And today we're not throwing bags, we're actually just going to be talking about them. These are the bags that I actually throw on a pretty regular basis. I get asked this question quite frequently, you know, what is your go-to bag or what do you actually throw, you know, aside from all these videos. So I figured I would address that. But before we get into it, I do have two awesome sponsors. So uh, the Cornhole Cave and Black Sheep Baggers. You guys know about Black Sheep, 100%. You know, their bags are awesome, boards are awesome, apparel, everything like that, customer service out of this world. The Cornhole Cave is a new sponsor of mine, and I really appreciate that. They have a brick and mortar in Kansas, which I love. I wish I had brick and mortars out here. Unfortunately, we don't. I don't know why, but it would be very cool to be able to go to a store and check out bags, throw them, see what they're like, you know, buy them right there if you could. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, so he's got a really good gig out there and he just started a website as well. So that link will be down in the description. Uh, go check him out, support him, you know, bags, board, all the good stuff. So I also have a Patreon. I'm not going to get into all that whole spiel. I've done it enough. You guys have heard it. So that link is down below. If you'd like to support me there, that'd be awesome. But let's get into some bags. Um, all of these bags I throw with regularity. Now, how regular it is, it just depends on the board conditions, right? Okay. What? I know, it's a bag. Peanut's right here. You want to say hi? Let's take your head over and say hi because they can hi. hear you. Okay. All right. Please be quiet, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. And they'll be quiet and then I'll be quiet and then um, they'll be quiet some more. Perfect. And then I'll add the So all these bags are bags that I throw or a variation of a bag that I throw that I'm trying to get used to. Uh, you know, same speed range, same material, stuff like that, just different company. Uh, I do have a couple of those on here, but a lot of them I'm bringing to every tournament that I play. So we're going to start with non-carpets. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I am like two-thirds carpet, one-third non-carpet, uh, just depending on the tournament, depending on the boards. If it's a situation that I'm not really sure what it's going to be like, I just bring pretty much half and half. Uh, if it's a situation where I know what the boards are going to be like, I'm going to lean more carpet because the boards are a little quicker at one of the venues I play at. So uh, it just really depends if I know or if I don't know. And I have a Zuka coming at the end of the week, so I'm going to be throwing just a ton of crap into that. And, you know, we'll go from there. So uh, let's start out with the non-carpets. First bag is the Black Sheep Baggers Costello. You guys know I like this one quite a bit. Uh, it's just one of those bags that I throw well. Uh, a lot of people can throw well. This is one of my favorite like blind draw bags. You know, if someone likes Widows, Pro Sniper, something like that, this is really in their wheelhouse. It doesn't get in insanely floppy. These are still fairly full uh, while maintaining really, really decent friendliness. Uh, the slow side is between a five and a six, fast side is an eight, and they're just awesome. Please stop. Okay. Thank you. Uh, they're just awesome, awesome bags. You will notice that all these bags also are ACL stamped. I throw a ton of ACL tournaments. Uh, I do review non-ACL bags, but I can't really throw them at all my events. I have a couple that I really like, but for the purpose of this video, I was just going to include, you know, my ACL. So just a little disclaimer there. But uh, Castellos, love them. Uh, when the boards just get a little too sticky for a carpet, these are where I typically go to. So number two, we're going to go with the Titan Devastator. Now this bag really surprised me. I bought this on their 12 Days of Christmas, and I really quite enjoy it. I, I like this color wave a lot. Uh, they had a lot of cool colors come out, but I like this more subtle one. Uh, speeds are awesome. You got a six on the slow, eight on the fast. The fill is good. The template is good. Everything about it is good. Uh, the flop, pretty nice. I have felt some devastators that were just totally destroyed. And it's like, I find that they're limited ones. And I know this isn't really a limited co colorway, but they have the, uh, like the King's Throne. They have a Drag That Bag one. Uh, the limited ones seem to be a little more full, and I like that. Uh, these actually feel like they have a little more fullness to them. So I like that quite a bit as well. Um, if the Costello isn't quite cutting through the way that I want it to, or it's hanging up on the hole a little bit, this is typically a bag that I would go to, um, or the next one that I'm going to talk about. But the slow side just does a little bit better in the humidity. Um, it's just a little quicker. Fast side is just about the exact same. Just kind of depends how I'm feeling that day. If I want a bag that's super broken in, really, really worn, I know how it plays, or if I want something just a little speedier and, you know, go with that situation. So just a really nice bag overall. The next one, if those are too slow, is gonna be my Cornhole Scenario Cat Twos. So these are the Fierce Edition. Uh, they have just normal colorways. That's enough, thank you. They have just normal colorways, uh, but these are the Fierce. 
These aren't 100% broken in yet, but I do still throw them. Uh, they're definitely playable. It's just a really nice speed combo. You got a six on the slow, nine on the fast. Um, but this six on the slow side, you'll see it's not really fully broken in there. Uh, the six on the slow side just really cuts through most humidity. Um, any sticky board, it just really cuts right through it and it does not have a problem hanging up. They're incredibly, incredibly hole friendly on the slow side. And if the boards are getting that sticky, that's something that I'm gonna be looking for. Um, just craftsmanship of these bags. You guys know Cornhole Scenario makes amazing bags. There's obviously been some controversy around them, but Cat 2 is still one of my favorite bags, period. I will always love them. There's just something about a Cat 2 that just kind of has a place in my heart, you know? It's just one of those bags that will always be with me. And I've used it quite a bit in tournaments as well. Um, just when things get a little tacky at the end of the day with all the humidity from the people and stuff, just a really, really nice option there. The next one is my indoor quick bag. Okay. So if the boards are playing really, really fast and I'm not going to be playing carpet or I'm playing with a partner, please, please stop jiggling. Okay. okay. If I'm playing with a partner that doesn't throw carpet, um, and none of these options sounded good, you know, if the boards are fast, these are actually not great options. The cat three, or I'm sorry, the cat two, the devastator and the Costello. If the boards are really fast, those are not bags that I'm going to be throwing. Yeah, babe. You need to give me a minute, okay? Um, I think I'm going to get a snack. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and then you can open up. So, one. if the boards are really fast and I'm playing with somebody that just doesn't throw carpet at all, this is probably what I'm going to suggest. This is the Mother Shuckers 989. Uh, this is the O Train edition. I have Taco Ochoa and Steven Ochoa, Baby O. They are both uh, local pros here, so I wanted to support them. This is a really, really nice bag. Slow side is a six. Okay. Fast side is a seven, seven and a half ish. Just kind of depends. Um, just depends on the day. It depends on the boards, honestly. It's that really nice soft seven that I like on a ton of different bags, but um, it's just, it's a really good bag. It's a good block push. This slow side yeah. is amazing on uh, faster boards and it is incredibly hole friendly. So it's the same slow side as like a character 77 or the Hades or actually the new Psycho X that just came out. They all utilize this slow side. Um, it will stop in humidity. That's the one fault this bag has that if there's any humidity, both sides will actually stop pretty good. So not ideal there, but it does lend it to be able to flop and roll at that point. So kind of cool if you want to utilize that. But if it's a super fast board condition and I'm not throwing carpet, I'm probably throwing these. Um, still controllable, still very hole friendly on both sides, but you know, just a little bit slower. So if we're going into carpet now, um, obviously I have a ton, right? I love carpet. Carpet is my jam. And I have a lot of bags that are in very similar ranges. So you know, I'm actually kind of gonna make a pile here for that range, because those are the same. I'm gonna make a pile there because those are the same. And then I got, you know, kind of two similar but outliers. So uh, essentially, I'm just gonna jump into it. Um, one of my go-tos at the moment is the Pink Dolphin by Strive. Uh, Strive Cornhole, you know, newer company up in Michigan. You gotta turn that down, please. It's a newer company up in Michigan. Um, they make really, really high quality bags for a really affordable price. They're like 60 bucks plus shipping for pro stand bags. They're awesome. Um, this bag to me, I know that every website claims a little bit differently. Uh, this bag is like a three to four on the slow and then a seven on the fast. It's that nice seven that we all love. You know, that's my jam right there is that seven. Uh, the only problem I have with this bag is that sometimes if it's getting a little more sticky, that seven's not gonna quite slide the way you want it to. It's not gonna do a push the way you want it to. It might not fall in when it's right next to the hole. So that's kind of my only hang up on, uh, on that yeah, is that it's kind of just not ideal for a stickier situation, which a lot of carpet can be, there you go. A lot of carpet can be ideal in sticky situations. It makes it do what you want it to and the carpet will actually cut through those sticky situations, but you need a fast side that can complement that and this one kind of will stop. But indoor fast bag, boards are playing really fast. I'm inside and I'm not playing the 989s. I'm probably gonna be playing the drives. Just a really nice bag, love them. To complement that is the Young Guns Menace. This is obviously my custom version here. Um, same exact carpet as the drive, same exact fill. The fast side is just a little bit different, which makes the bag actually feel different in general. It makes it feel different in your hand. It makes it play differently. Um, it's just a really nice combination. This fast side is like a surefire fast. So it's an eight compared to this seven. 
Um, so this one, I mean, they're still floppy, but I feel like the Menace gets floppier just because of the, uh, the Surefire Fast. It just lets it get a little bit looser. Um, that also lends it to push really nicely. It pushes great, but it does punish you if you're missing a push. So that's my little hang up there. Um, I do bring them both just depending on board conditions because if I really like the way that the carpet is playing, I'm gonna want you know either this fast side or this fast side. It just depends on the day, depends on the boards. Uh, they're both amazing bags and they are both with me all the time. This is one of my go-tos, 100%. Like this is one of the first bags I'm grabbing to do down and backs and stuff like that. So really quite like those. Um, next we're gonna get into that four seven range. Yeah, turn down just a little bit, baby. There you go. We're gonna get into that four seven range, uh, which I do have like four sets of bags here for that. Um, the one that I've been throwing the most, but I'm probably maybe getting away from, is the uh, Vikings. BG Vikings, you guys know them, you guys love them. This is the five star edition. Um, five star is local to me and wanted to support that, of course. But I really like this colorway, really like everything about it. I like the gray carpet on it, it's really, really nice. But it's just, I'm not 100% sold on them. You know, and maybe I just need to throw them more. Uh, the flop is really, really nice. You need to move that, please. The flop is really, really nice. Uh, the hand feel is really, really nice. I like a Viking quite a bit, but there's just something about it that's not quite there for me. Um, they do flop and roll amazingly. I forgot to say that about the, the uh, Menace and the Pink Dolphin. The flop and roll is a little tougher on those. It's just a little harder to do, but that's because of that flat fill. It's a really, really nice fill, really friendly to the hole, but it doesn't lend it to flop and roll as well. These will flop and roll like there's no tomorrow because they're Vikings. You guys know that. Um, I really like them. I'm just possibly getting away from them. We'll kind of see how it goes, but they still come with me to every tournament as it is. And I will throw them when these just get a little too slow. In that same range, we're going to go with the Reynolds Pro Advantage. Uh, these are a blackjack. My buddy Chris is lending these to me right now. Might have to buy them off him because I quite like them. Um, this is still that 4.7 range. You know, carpet is just a lot different than the Viking carpet. Uh, fast side is about the same, you know, just different material. Um, actually, it might be a very similar material now that I'm feeling it, but they play really nicely. Uh, it's the same thing. I mean, these are nicely broken in. Chris did a great job on these. Uh, they just, I'm not sure where they fit in my game yet. That 4.7 range is when I'm really struggling to find something that I absolutely love. It's where I am with it. Uh, but these still come with me because I like them. You know, sometimes the Vikings are playing a little fast, these play just a touch slower, so it's kind of nice. But the push on the fast side is where I struggle with it because I need a I need a nice bag that'll push through, and sometimes this fast side just doesn't want to collect as well. But overall, still a really really nice bag, and I do use them. Thank you. The next one um, that I use quite a bit, and I've grown to like quite a bit actually, is the Kill Shots Cannon Gen Three. These are awesome. Uh, the original cannons were decent. Uh, just a bigger template, bigger in your hand, uh, kind of a bigger round fill. These utilize more of the flat fill, similar to the, uh, the Pink Dolphins and the Menace here. And that's a good thing and a bad thing in my book because it makes them a lot harder to roll. I've had issues rolling and flopping these, but it makes them very hole friendly. Uh, these ones are not fully broken in. I know. These ones are not fully broken in yet, but they're definitely playable. Uh, I just, I do really like how they play. I just need some more time with them. Uh, they have that really nice seven fast side that I've talked about a hundred times. And uh, this carpet on the four is just, it's really nice. It just, it plays well, it's still hole friendly, but it still, it really stops when you want it to, which I really, really like. Um, so if I can just figure out how to manipulate it a little bit, get it to flop and roll a little better, we might be in good shape there. So the next bag in this range, which I need to learn to love, um, I really just haven't thrown it enough, is the WTF Foxtrot. You guys know how I feel about WTF bags. Um, I didn't mean it, but the end of this video is all three WTF bags. Uh, this one has a gold carpet. It's sick. That purple and gold just looks really, really good. It's an awesome combo. Uh, this is like a, to me, it's a 4.7 because I had an older set of Foxtrots and they played just like a 4.7 to me. A lot of people say this is like a 6.8 bag. I don't know. I'm going to say 4.7 because that's how I remember it being. Um, this bag is not fully broken in whatsoever. Um, and by that, I mean it literally hasn't touched a board yet. But I've done my artificial break in on it and I've tumbled it a ton and I've gotten them, you know, to a point where they're going to be throwable. I just need to start to throw them. Uh, that's the big thing because I want to get used to them. I know how good they can be. So I just really want to get there. Uh, I had the Bravo and the Bravo just, 
didn't quite do it for me. And that might be what the Foxtrot does too. I really like the Tangler, I really like the Delta. Those are my next two, but um, we'll see what the Foxtrot does. It's just in that zone. I like the template a lot. I know it's gonna flop, I know it's gonna roll. It's got that really nice hand feel to it. It's a little bigger. It's got the, the beady fill. It's gonna do it. So I just need some more time with those on the boards, but that still comes with me either way. We're gonna get into, who what do I wanna do now? I'll say the best for last. Best right now for last. Uh, and we'll get into the WTF Delta, okay? This is a new bag as well. They just came out with them. Um, they're sweet. What I heard from a lot of people was they're similar to a Tango, just a little bit faster on the carpet. And I will absolutely agree with that. No, right, not right now. The carpet is a little bit different. It's like a little bit smoother kind of, but this carpet is not nearly as nuked as my, my Tango Pros are. Um, but it's just a little bit smoother, a little bit softer, identical fast side. So that's really cool. I like the graphics on this one. I like the design a lot. No, thank you. Um, the carpet is actually super cool. You're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but the carpet actually has some blue in there. So the strands are like alternated with some blue, just a really light blue, just a really nice touch that, you know, you're not gonna really see when you're just looking at it. It kind of looks gray, right? It's definitely got a blue hue to it, which is cool because you got the blue on the front. So uh, these play really, really nice. They will flop and roll. They will cut, they will do whatever you want. This fast side is lightning. Um, so you have to be very careful with it. You have to know what you're doing, but it pushes like no tomorrow. These bags collect like no tomorrow. Uh, if they are hanging in the hole, even just a little bit, you know, you can drag that. They're gnarly. They're just a really, really good bag. I need a little bit more time with them. I've thrown them quite a bit, but I need a little bit more time with them to choose between these and Tangos if I needed to. But at the moment, they're both coming with me for sure. Um, those are, I'm sorry, I didn't even give you speeds on that. That's more of like a five to six and then a nine there. Yeah, babe. Not right now, you just need to give me one more minute. Just one more minute. All right, thank you. Uh, the last bag on this list that I always bring with me is my Tango Pros. WTF, Tango Pros. These are customs, of course. Um, really cool design there, white carpet on the back. Uh, the reason I like these I had the blue line set, which had a dark blue carpet and then the blue and black front, right? The blue carpet like does play a little bit slower now, right now. Like the blue carpet plays a little bit slower. Um, white carpet notoriously plays quicker, regardless of company, regardless of whatever, white carpet will play quicker. And I'm not sure if it's because of a dye, you know, or lack of dye in the white carpet and dyes in the others slow it down. Um, but the white carpet playing just a touch quicker, it gives me more, versatility. It lets me play it on a little bit more boards. You have to turn that down, please. It lets me play on some different boards. Um, that's up. I know that's up. And it lets me, um, lets me use them a little bit longer, I guess. So I'm trying to say if it gets, you know, a little bit, a little bit sticky, I can still use these a little bit longer before I need to switch a bag. Um, Tangos are a five nine. They're awesome. Same fast height as the Delta here, but it's just, it's so much different than the Delta. I mean, this bag is a little bit thicker. I don't know how well you can really tell. Um, I can tell there, the Delta is definitely thinner than the Tango. Uh, the Tango is a puff ball and that makes it flop and roll like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Uh, these things flop and roll like nobody's business. It is insane what you can do with these cuts, drags, pushes. Um, this fast side is stupid good. Exact same fast side as the Delta and I love that. So freaking good. Uh, the carpet just, you know, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit slower, uh, but it doesn't hang. It's not unfriendly, okay? It's the same thing though. You got an edge hanging over the hole, you know, just a little bit. That bag can be drug or dragged. Um, just a really, really nice bag. It's one of my go-tos, you know, it's my baby blanket. If I really need to throw well, I'm gonna be grabbing these or the menaces or the pink dolphins. That's just the way it is. Um, if I wanna be more tricky and try to do the manipulation of the bag. I'm gonna be throwing the tangos. If I want just more consistency and more in the hole, I'm gonna be throwing the pink dolphins and the menaces. Uh, if I wanna switch it up, you know, I'm gonna go with any of these four sevens. If I'm not throwing carpet, I'm going with this pile. It's just, there's a lot. <laughs> a lot goes into uh, when I think about where I'm playing, what the conditions are gonna be like, who I'm playing with, that's a big one. If it's a blind draw, I have to bring more, I feel like, even though I'm not gonna use my bags anyway, we're gonna use theirs. Uh, if I'm throwing with my normal partner, we kind of know what we're going to throw, but I'm still going to bring a variety, you know, if there's a singles event there. So um, that is really it, guys. That is the 12 sets that I throw fairly consistently. Uh, right now, my bag only fits six. I kind of jam seven into it most nights. Uh, and then I just kind of play with 
what I play with. I don't know. It, it's been a lot of um, Madison Pink Dolphin lately, just the way it is. Nobody around me will throw WTF bags. They just won't. Uh, it's their loss, of course, but it's just... There's so many good bags out there, and I literally have cases of bags over there that, you know, I could throw and replace any of these with. They're all amazing. So um, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into what I throw regularly and uh, just kind of what my preferences are. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit, and hopefully a little change of pace on the videos was kind of nice as well. So I think that will wrap this one up. Uh, Got to get Peanut to bed here. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you guys like it, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.